Hi, so I've just spent the day playing with this circuit and um, with the antennas. So I've been doing different antenna sizes and different arrangements, different positions and orientations and different materials again. And um, I came across something that I thought was a really interesting result. Quite surprising. Though, of course, I have just spent the day messing around with antennas. So my ability to judge what is interesting or not might be in question. Anyway, what I found was... Um, this stuff, which is carbon felt actually, um, gave a 50% increase. Now the metric that I've been using is really simple. All I've been doing is discharging the capacitors to zero and timing the time it takes them to charge to one volt and then discharging it to zero and timing the time again. Just to give me a really basic metric because what we're interested in is how much power it outputs and how quickly it'll do that. Um, so the fact that it charges the capacitors to the same level at the same time was an indication I took of performance of the antenna arrangement that I was doing, and it seemed reasonable. Um, but this would charge the capacitor bank in half the time that the same size piece of zinc would. So I thought that was absolutely awesome, and I thought I would share it with you. It's like I say, it's just a piece of activated carbon felt. They use it for um, air filters, actually, and it's surprising because it's not that conductive. I mean, it is conductive, but it's not as conductive as zinc. Um, so earlier on, I sort of discounted it, really, because I thought, well, you're going to lose most of the energy trying to get the energy out. Um, but then just for a whim, I had a bit lying around. I thought I'd give it a go, and I was really amazed at the result. So that actually works as an antenna the best I've tried. So I thought I'd share that with you and I hope it was of interest to you as well and thank you for watching.